Are you guys having fun? Yeah! How are you all doing today? Fantastic! Terrific! Great! All day long! We had started back in October um, learning about Canada and we were learning about the Canadian symbols and so we'd been learning about Anukshuks and beavers and we even learned about hockey and so we were learning about the maple leaf and the maple uh, the flag and um, so the kids they started bringing in these maple leaves to me and from outside and I said where are you guys getting these and so one of the girls said well by the bus stop I said well what bus stop well where we wait for the buses okay we're going for a walk so we went for a walk around the school and we found that we have two maple trees at our school. And so with learning about maple syrup and maple trees, we had watched this little video on YouTube and it taught us all about how to make maple syrup. So the kids, they were like, can we tap our trees? I said, I don't know, can we? So we went and we asked Mr. Hebert and we said, hey, could we tap our two maple trees? And he agreed and he said we could do it. So we had to do research because we had no idea what to do. I've never done this in my life. I think I remember going to St. Pierre when I was like their age, but I've never done this, so we had to research. So we sat down at the carpet, we put Amazon onto the, onto the projector, we found two books. They were perfect for our research, and we started researching back in November. And we researched for about a week with the tools we needed, what was all needed to do this whole process from the beginning to the end. And so from there, we had to do the waiting game. We had to wait for that temperature to change in the springtime so that we could start collecting the sap. So then on April 10th, we ended up tapping the tree. And uh, we actually have a parent here as well uh, from Elmdale School. They found out that they had a maple tree in their backyard. Me and my mom, like, we asked for a tap from a single. We just started collecting and then some woodpeckers came and pecked like holes in our tree and then the sap started dripping out. My tree is like a little bit bigger than these trees so and I think it might be a little bit older but ours is a silver maple and then these are red maples I think. So between our two trees here at Elmdale and their tree in their own backyard we were able to collect 80 liters of sap so 80,000 milliliters of sap which ended up boiling down to 2.1 liters of syrup. <laughs> so 40 to 1 ratio so it's, it was a lot of work. <laughs> Friday we had just started that process and so we started in the morning and I did not finish till 10:30 at night at home. I had taken everything back home and I finished that up in my garage and then on Saturday morning woke up and did the same thing from 9.30 in the morning till 8.30 at night. And then we saved a little bit to do on Monday uh, with the class because they hadn't seen the real change from the sap to that really brown syrupy stuff. So I thought, you know what, I'll save a pail. So on Monday morning we did that. Yeah, so it was probably a good 24 to 30 hours worth of boiling. And waiting isn't easy. That's right. It doesn't always come out on the first try because it needs like some time to go up and then down into the bucket because it needs to be cold at night and warm in the day. It's a very slow progress. You have to check it every day. You know what, I learned a lot of patience um, and I think the kids learned a lot of patience because this was uh, something that we started like I said back in November and it just took a lot of time for us to you know collect our information that we needed our research and then to wait un until that time was right to do the tapping every day we had to check our trees two times we learned that you can taste the ice to make sure if it has any sap in it and it's sweet you have to drill in the tree two inches you have to drill it at an angle or the sap doesn't come out. What angle do you have to drill it? Upwards. At nighttime, when it's cold, the sap will go up, and when it's hot at daytime, it'll go down. We had been reading actually some of the articles you guys had posted on Stamac Online regarding St. Pierre and the tapping of their trees. And it was really cute. One of the students in my class, when we had read the article, it had said that St. Pierre had tapped 375 trees and they had received no sap at that point. That was a week after they had tapped. So when I read that to the kids, they all just said, oh, that makes us feel so much better that our two trees aren't producing any sap yet. So that was kind of nice using that information that you guys had provided to us. And we, uh, we just crossed our fingers and all of a sudden it started to happen. 
So, but we also learned a lot of other things. We were able to cross curricular uh, a lot of the learning with our math, with our adding that we've been learning to do, and um, we did a lot of journaling and writing, a lot of diagram drawing for science. So, I mean, it was it was just a great learning experience overall. And I mean, I had the most fun doing this. This was just it's been probably my favorite year of teaching ever. I've loved teaching, but my goodness, this just was phenomenal to get to do this with this crew of kids.